How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about Samsung devices and specifically we're going to be talking about factory reset protection. Okay? Now this is going to be a little bit controversial I'm sure for some of you. But this technology keeps it so when you factory reset your device you will not be able to um, log in unless you logged in with the exact same Google account as you did previously before with Factory Reset. So if for some reason you have to reset your device, you forgot your Google account, you're stuck. You can't get into your account. It really sucks. And the way it turns on and off is has to do with having a lock screen or a lock on your device or not. If you have a lock screen and you've signed in and then you have to Factory Reset manually and then you have to log in with that last Google account or else the device doesn't work. So today we're going to show you how to get around that. This is going to be specific to Samsung devices. Okay? So this is how you do it. So right here you can see this is my Samsung device. It's got all my accounts, everything set up on it. If I turn it off and turn it back on, it actually, if I swipe up, see, it looks for a password. So finger to unlock. So it either has a password or maybe it has, you know, this kind of password you can put in. I'm going to use my finger just to unlock it. So finger will unlock it. So you can see it has a password on it. All right. Now, the way to get around this. So I can't get in. Let's just say I can't get in. It's got a password. I'm locked out. I can't get into my phone. I don't remember my password. Whatever the reasoning is. Let's go ahead and power off. Turn off power. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and boot into stock Android recovery and factory reset the device. So to do that, you're going to hold volume. Uh, up, home, and and the power button. Let's see if I can do it. And you're going to keep holding them until you see something flash on the screen like this. Then you can let go of power and keep holding the other two buttons. This will boot you into recovery. So you can let go at this point. So it says installing system update, which is just what this device says every time you boot into recovery. So it's actually not installing a system update here, even though it looks like it is. So just wait a second and you'll see the interface menu for stock Android recovery. So it says no commands. Oh, there it goes. Took a little bit. Okay. So from here, this is where you're going to do this. So you're going to scroll down until you see wipe data factory reset. Now this is going to wipe off everything. So all your installed apps, all your passwords, everything's going to get wiped off. But because I'm doing it and we had a password set up, Factory reset protection won't let me sign, set up the device unless I log into my Google account. Well, until I show you what we're going to do. So let's reset. Wipe data factory reset. Scroll down to yes, delete all user data. Hit the power button. And there you go. This thing is going to wipe data factory reset. Now, once we get this thing booted back up, you're going to need an OTG cable or an OTG flash drive. This is an OTG flash drive right here. Let me go ahead and reboot system now. And you're going to take this and plug it into your computer. And you're going to actually put one APK or application on it. And I'll link it to you in the video description. I'll actually link you this exact flash drive if you want to use the same one. Really, you can use any OTG cable and a flash drive. But this is a combination OTG cable flash drive. So I'll link you this in the video description. Um, I'll link you to the APK we're going to use. Um, and find a way to bypass factory reset protection on your Samsung device. So we're booting up here after the reset. Installing applications, which is interesting. Not sure what that is about. And setup. So if we go in, actually I'm going to go back because I don't want United Kingdom, I want United States. There we go. And we'll skip through this. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to skip it because we need a network. So we're going to go ahead and put in my password. Let me do that. So we should be connecting. There we go. We can hit next now. And user terms, blah, blah, blah. Agree. And now this is where your device says, okay, let's check and see if this was factory reset the wrong way. And if it was, let's require this right here. This device was reset to continue sign in with Google account 
that was previously done. Allow Google to regularly check security problems, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. So it's telling you, you have to have a Google account that you previously signed in on this device to get it to turn on. You can't hit next. It won't let you move past this. See, it won't let you do it. Okay. So I have my account. I could put it in there. I know it. But if you don't, you forgot it for whatever reason. You never knew it. I don't know. Whatever the problem is, you need this. And what you're going to do on this screen is plug in your OTG cable. And because Samsung has some software built in, it's going to automatically launch the file explorer. Even though you're in setup here, this is really cool. This is the APK that you're going to want right here. And it's got to be on that flash on the drive. So we're going to click on it, go to settings. You're going to click unknown sources, say OK, hit install. And what this actually does, this just lets you get into settings. That's all it does. So then you're going to hit open and it launches settings. That's all that that application does. So we can unplug the OTG drive. Let's put it back in the little case here, in my little stand. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to backup and reset. And we're going to uh, factory data reset and reset and delete all. And we're resetting it a second time. Now, the reason that this works is because factory data reset gets turned on when you reset it and there's a password already on the device. Well, right there, there was no password when I did reset. And because there's no password, it's not going to trip the factory data reset protection. So this time, once it goes through wiping data factory resetting, you'll be able to log in with any account and you've bypassed factory data reset protection. So let me show you that once this finishes. So here you go. We are booting up. And yes, this is a very nifty trick. So really any device that launches a file browser from an OTG cable, you'll pretty much be able to use this to bypass factory set protection on that device. Whether it's a Samsung or it's a different carrier or a different brand, OEM, using this OTG cable or drive and this little application, you will be able to get around factory reset protection with a double factory reset and some nice little trickery. So again, I'm going to go to the United States and we'll see if we can get past that uh, locked up screen and see if we can get past. Let me put in my password again. Connected. Go ahead, agree to the terms of use. Checking connection. Come on. Thumbs up. Come on. Here it comes. This is the good part right here. It's about to happen. Oh, it's taking a little bit. All right. Go ahead and hit next. Checking information. Look, no warning for factory reset protection. It's gone. Go ahead and approve that. Skip. I'm just going to skip. I'm not going to put in another account right now. I'm just going to show you that I can get into it. Skip, 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 skip anyway. Skip it, scap, skippity scap, skip, skip. Come on. Skip, skip. Oh, I don't want to set it. No, go back. Go back. Later. Come on. Boot up finally. Later. Next. Finish. Here it is. Wah wah, shabam, thank you, ma'am. We have now bypassed factory data reset protection on a Samsung device. I hope this was helpful for you. This was pretty fun for me to figure out how to do. And um, yeah, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of coverage, you want to see more. I do tons of coverage on hacking Android devices. This isn't even a hack. This is just a cool bypass. So stay tuned for more videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.